Hello world, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl C of C Clean Crochet. So guys, today's tutorial we're going to need a uh, yarn and I'm going to use an acrylic yarn and a pair of scissors, a hook of 3 mm, some stitch markers and of course a needle. And we're going to use the pattern on my left side, okay? So first of all, you make your base cycle and yeah so you you tie your yarn round like this and you make sure it's well fixed yeah if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification give me a like and comment something nicely so guys after making your base cycle you set your hook and pull your yarn through and you make a first chain just to keep the base cycle in place okay so next of all we are going to have our single crochets of 12 so we are going to have 12 single crochets in this mini cycle and the more you make your single crochet you pull it backwards to give it more space for all the 12 single crochets to fit in yeah so when you get to the end you make okay so you make your last single crochet so when you get to the end you keep on single crocheting around again so that stage two or row two you make single crochet around it so you get to where you started from again Yeah, so our base has been firmly formed. Next of all, you chain five. Then in the next stitch hole that you have there, you make two double crochets. Okay, so make two double crochet in the same stitch hole. Alright, you chain five. Then in the next stitch hole that you have, you are going to make another double crochet, two double crochet in that same stitch hole. Mind you, all the stitches must be 12 in all because you started with single crochets of 12. Okay, so you chain 5. In the next stitch hole, you make two double crochets. Okay, so you're going to make this thing two double crochet chain five throughout so you get to the beginning of our work. Yeah, so you're going to do this to so get to the end and make sure you get and or you get 12 double crochets there. Okay, so you can just put your stitch mark at where you started so that you won't be confused. Right, so after going around, you see that you get 12 of these. That's row 3. Now let's move on to row 4. With row 4, you are going to work in the chains, the 5 chains that we make. So you chain, this time you chain 7 instead of 5. So you chain 7, then you make 1 single crochet. Okay. You chain seven then you make a single crochet inside the loops that you have you chain seven make a single crochet seven make a single crochet seven okay so you are doing this so you get to the end yeah okay so next of all you are going to when you are done with that row, you are going to work in this um, seven chains, okay? But this time you are going to add 
other things so you so you change seven again and in the first stitch row you make two sorry you make six double crochets six double crochets you chain seven then in the next stitch row you make one a single crochet you chain seven in the next you make six double crochet in the next you also chain seven then you make single crochet so you are alternating between single crochets and um six double crochets so at the end you should be getting the six double crochets should be six in all okay so we've done one two and three so we're going to make four and five and six okay so at the end you should get six in all like this okay so now you're going to um the six double crochet that's where we are going to develop our leaf patterns so you chain seven we are still maintaining our seven chains you chain seven then the stitch hole before the six double crochet that you created you make three double crochets then in between the first double crochet and the second double crochet you make another double crochet you make another double crochet okay so you get to the end of your six double crochet that you did sorry so when you get to the middle of the six double crochet you chain three then you continue with your double crochet then at the end you make additional three double crochet just like you started with okay let's do the second one the same thing so you chain seven and the stitch hole before your so it's double crochet you make three double crochets then in between the first and second you make another in between the second and third you make another then in between the third and the fourth you make another then you chain three then inside that same third and fourth you make another double crochet then you make another double crochet okay so that each side will be will have the same number of stitches okay so that there will be a space of chain in between you chain seven the stitch hole before that you make three just like we've done before so you make three stitches before and after separating it with uh, a chain of three so guys at the end this is what you have now let's move on to the next stage with the next stage you are going to chain seven again and this time instead of three double crochet before the um where our leaf pattern is you're going to make only one okay then your double crochets come in between but mind you when you get to where the chain is you make your double crochet inside the chain this one you make your first double crochet inside it you chain three then inside the same chain you make another double crochet then continue with your double crochet in between the stitches so you get to the end and you at the end the space there you add one double crochet to it so you get something like this yeah so you do the same for the next one you chain seven then the first you make one double crochet in between then you make double crochets so you get to the space place then you make a double crochet you chain three inside the space you make another double crochet then you keep on with your double crochet till you get to the end and at the end the last stitch comes out which will be one double crochet okay so you chain seven 
So you keep on chaining seven to and developing the leaf pattern till you get to the end. Yeah, so guys, at the end you should be getting something like this. Now let's move on to the next stage. With the next stage, you are going to have a reducing effect. And anytime you start reducing, you chain seven. And inside the chain, the first chain that you made, you make a single crochet. You chain seven again. Then you move on to the leaf pattern. You skip the first stitch row between the first and second double crochet this one then you move on to the next space hole that you have okay so you skip the first and second then you move on to the okay so you make you move you change you skip the first stitch hole then you move on to the second stitch hole that you see there okay and I use as usual when you get to the space you have your double crochet you chain three then inside it again, you make another double crochet. Yeah, you make another double crochet. Then you continue with your double crochets. And you wouldn't, you, you end at the stitch hole before the last stitch hole. Because you are trying to reduce this leaf pattern. Okay, you chain seven then in between you make a single crochet you chain seven again then you skip the first stitch row in the second you start making your double crochets when you get to the middle you make your double crochet you chain then you make another double crochet then continue with your double crochet then you end in the stitch hole before the last stitch hole so guys you are doing this till you get yeah we finish with everything so always you chain seven make sure you make your first single crochet inside the chains then you make another seven before you start developing the leaf pattern so you're going to develop the rest of the four so we get to the end so at the end guys this is what you should be getting now with the next stage we are still going to reduce so this time we are going to work in between the spaces that you have okay so you chain seven in the first chain space you make a single crochet you chain seven in the next you make a single crochet then you chain another seven then you skip the first stitch hole in the next you make your start making your double crochets till you get to the middle okay so you make you chain three then you continue with your double crochets always make sure that your chain goes in between so you chain seven you chain another seven making a single crochet then you chain another seven okay then you reduce it by skipping the first stitch hole when you get to the middle part you make your chain of three then you continue like that so you get to the end of your work so guys after finishing this row you should be getting this now guys let's move on to the next row okay so with the next row we are going to chain seven you make a single crochet in the first piece chain seven make a single crochet you chain seven make a single crochet you chain seven then you skip all this stitch hole and the stitch hole before the space chain yeah the stitch hole that the stitch hole before that you make a double crochet then inside the stitch hole 
you make four double crochets four double crochets then the stitch will after the space you make one double crochet so you know you are getting six so before and after the space that you have you have six right so you chain seven you make a stitch single stitch you chain seven you make yeah chain seven okay so you chain seven again then you skip all these stitches and the stitch hole before the space you make a double crochet then once in between you make four double crochets then the one after the space you make another double crochet so this is what you are going to do till we get to the end and that will end our motif yeah so you are going to do that till you get here yeah so after completing guys this is the end of your motif we are going to make um eight pieces of this for our top so you make the same pieces of this for our top now we are going to create armhole for our top so you chain you take one piece then you locate the middle parts of your motif so you chain three then in between you make one double crochet two double crochets three double crochets then you chain three in between again you make three double crochets okay you chain three then you turn your work then the space chain you make three double crochets you chain three in the same space you make additional three double crochets mm -hmm. so you should be getting something like this you chain three you turn your work you make three double crochets you chain three then you make three double crochets okay so you turn your work and you are making this um for nine times or you can make it as long as you want okay so i'm making this nine times so i get to the end yeah and after finishing it i'll make another piece like this so this is the nine Then I'm making four pieces of this. Yeah, so the next one I'm going to make the same for this one. I'm going to make additional two. Okay, the same way I've, I've done this one. Yeah, so guys, yeah, at the end you should be getting something like this. Now, with the next stage, you're going to fix our pieces together. So you take your thread. And your needle then yeah so you turn the negative part of your work or you turn make sure you work from the back so that it's your stitches would appear in the front part so the next mode or the next leaf after your armhole you stitch it together like this Okay. make sure your stitches are not seen you are not too tight and you are not too loose so that the lines will not be seen okay so you stick them together then you take another motif 
and yeah so you could you stitch it till you get to the end like this okay so you take another motif which you've not done any um armhole to it so you take that one then you place it in between okay so that one leaf pattern will be the leaf pattern will be meeting with the three okay so you'll be having three leaf patterns meeting like this okay and you fix them together yeah you fix the two then you add the third one to it okay always make sure th three leaf patterns are meeting yeah and we are going to join these parts and this part okay then you take your next leaf motif yeah then you make sure your leaf patterns meet over here again and you fix this part to to this part then you take the last one and fix it yeah from this part to this part okay yeah so after fixing guys this is what you should be getting now let's work the front part or the back part of our wick yeah so you take the other side where we develop the armhole the two other pieces okay and that once you are going to join the same just like we did for the first one you join the leaf patterns then with your last piece of motif remember that we made eight pieces of this okay so the last one you fix it in between like this okay then the side waist will come like this will join like this okay so that you join these pieces together making sure that the three leaf patterns meet then you fold this part to like this so that the three leaf pattern also meet okay so guys let's do the joining with everything and i'll meet you when you are done so guys after fixing this is what you should be getting yeah this is what you should be getting and mind you you leave some space here for your armhole okay look at this yeah, so we are still working in the inside or neg the negative part, okay? So the stitches will not be seen. So you fix the top part, which is your armhole, you fix it together. Then the next, you turn your work so that you face the front part or the correct or the positive part of your work. Then you are going to create some um, design. At the edges so you chain you make four double crochets then you make a single crochet four double crochet then you make a single crochet four double crochets make a single crochet so you are making this towards the edge just of the neck holes as well as the edges of the arm holes okay we are kind we kind of creating or adding some designs to our work so you keep on with yeah you keep on with your um, design so when you get to the arm hole you are going to work in between or where we made that three chains okay not just any place just like we did for the neck hole but with the arm hole you work in between where you have your chain of three okay so you make four double crochets 
then you make a single crochet inside the three you make four double crochets then you end with a single crochet okay then you look at the next space where you have your three chains okay then you make your four double crochets and you chain three so you're going to make this throughout and you make sure your design covers everywhere with your neck hole then everywhere with your um, arm hole as well so guys when you're done this is what you should be getting you make that one for your arm holes to the same design for your arm holes let's do that so guys after finishing you should be getting it your design should be like this now let's move on to the down part of our work we are going to design the down part of our work okay and this one normally when um you want your work to be a little bit longer so we are kind of going to create some shells okay so you chain you make three double crochet you chain three then you add additional three double crochets okay it's a kind of shell you chain seven then you skip the first chain hole doing the next chain hole you make three double crochet you chain three you make additional three double crochets you chain seven okay so just like this you chain seven you skip the next mesh hole that you see there then in the next one you make three double crochet chain three make another three double crochet the same stitch or mesh stitch okay you chain seven skip this one so you're going to make this shells all over till you get to the end of your work and when you get to the end of your work you go over again if you are not satisfied with the length of your top you go over again till you get to the desired length that you want but i'm going to make this three times okay so i'm going to go over three times so after making the first um one i'm moving on to the second row and the second row inside my shell i'll make another shell right so you chain seven then inside the previous shell you make another shell yeah so you make another shell okay so you keep on making your shells and chaining seven to separate them so on the third um this is what i do so i'm making this shells for only three times then in the on the third where i'm ending so if you're ending with your fourth you make some little knots on them and this is how you make your little knot when you make your double crochet you chain three then you back to the top part you make a single crochet you chain three okay so you make a double crochet you chain additional three go back to the top part you make a little knot on it you make your double crochet you chain three back to the first stitch where you make a knot okay but then you'll be getting some smaller knots on your um shells like this okay so you chain seven and then next shell you make sure you have the little knots on it so you make your double crochet you make a chain of three then you come back to the end okay so guys at the end this is what you should be getting isn't this beautiful yeah 
so guys you can make this in any color of your choice and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you again guys in my next video tutorial bye, bye. 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 bye.